everybody, it's your boy Bosa Jr. here, back at you guys again with another video. And today, I'll be giving you guys a full rundown mod list on my 2013 Mod Speed 3. Let's get to it. Also guys, real quick, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button for this video, because we're gonna get some more bangers of this thing coming. So if you like Mazdas, if you like cars, hit that subscribe button, we'll keep them coming. All right, onward with the video, let's go. Okay, so first off, this is my Mazda Speed 3 2013 tech package. Um, I've owned this car for probably about two years now. And this is how she sits. Um, it's not finished by any means. I'm still changing stuff. Uh, the wheels are gonna get changed here pretty soon. I'll do a video on that for you guys. But other than that, let's jump right into it. Also, sorry about the hair, it's a little windy out. I, I, I don't have a hat, sorry. Just letting that know. And sorry about the audio, it's a little windy. I'm recording off my iPhone right now, so it might not be as good, but we'll get better audio as we go. Anyways, back to the video. So let's just start from the side because we got a lot to get to in the front. Um, as you guys see, we have some Frosty Whites, some BBSs, Evo X wheels. <laughs> what did I say? Evo X wheels. Um, 17 inch rims wrapped in some Federals, 245, 40s, um, R17s. Um, we got some fancy vinyl wrap on the side of the window here um, i lost my wind dividers so i didn't lose them they broke off on the freeway so ordered me some new ones so those will be coming soon now we're to the back of the car have some rear tinted tail lights um i think they sit pretty damn good with the car it goes with it all right moving on down to the exhaust we have an ultimate racing cat back three and a half inch um the entire exhaust system is fully catless uh my downpipe is a cpe catless downpipe um i have a little fancy carbon fiber trim around the tip give you guys a little better angle um so far this exhaust sounds amazing um before previously i was fully straight piped on the stock exhaust system so muffler delete resonator delete all that good stuff and I gotta say it was a fucking raspy rather than this new exhaust it's a little more deep tone and i kind of like it more moving up top here we have a password jdm wing extension carbon fiber i dig it i might switch it in the future i don't know i just just a carbon fiber boy Sheesh. it just hits and by the way this car is tuned by dizzy so shout out to dizzy so this pretty much sums it up for the back i mean as you can see, tint the taillights, extension, exhaust, that's pretty much it. Um, I have the another, other tone, the different tone, rear, like rear bumper, this bezel. Um, a lot of cars I see have either red or like a black, they painted black, but this one came like a, kind of like a gunmetal gray, whoops, pressed my freaking keel on. Now we're gonna move to the front of the car where there's even more goodies and even more money spent. Yeah, let's go. So up front we see I have open mouth grill. This is a Basin R, their open mouth grill. Um, fought along with a custom crash bar and the factory mounting points. Can't get a little closer look for you guys. Boom, boom. Also fitted with a mounted LED bar with tabs on top of the crash bar. Um, we had to kind of trim the grill a little bit to fit the crash bar behind it. Let's see if I can get a full, little better angle. And tucked behind this, we have a TR10 Treadstone intercooler. Um, the fog lights, um, the, mine kind of faded, so I just repainted them black. And that's how they look. I mean, they look pretty good. All right, so moving up top, as you guys can see, I have uh, not your ordinary hood vent you guys would see on a Mazda Speed. This is a custom JC Speedworks hood vent that they make for the Mazdas. Um, they sell these for Gen 1, Gen 2. This is their main vent. They also sell side vents on each side. And I, I've seen some cars with Gen 1s. I don't know if JC Speedberg sells them. I, I'm pretty sure he does, but it's a side vent as well on the Gen 1. They look, they look pretty good. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I still have to do some trimming on mine, as you guys can see. Um, I'll probably do an install video. Well, not install, but like, I'm gonna change these, these rivets out for something else. Cause like, as you guys can see, I broke one already. Fuck me, yeah. Anyways, these are gonna get replaced and I'll do a video on this as well so you guys can stay in the loop and possibly purchase one of these. So moving to the headlights, I have some eyelids from a company called ACEP, 
ACEP Styles. Uh, it's this company right here. Um, they make these for, I believe, Gen 1s and Gen 2s. These are their Hulk style eyelids. Um, go to the website, pick some up. Um, I'll try to drop all these parts that I have in the description. So if I if I can't do that, if I forget some, um, just hit me in the DMs on the Instagram or leave a comment and I'll get, be sure to get back to you guys. All right, now it's time to pop the hood of this old gal. So let's get let's get under. Let's get let's get going. All right, so let's start with the most obvious. Um, CX Racing intercooler piping. Um, might as well follow the tubing back. Um, stock manifolds for now. Um, I will be going, getting the aftermarket and going external wastegate. Um, it's coming soon. Just haven't made up my mind on what brand or what manifold I want to go with. I might go with the CPE to match the downpipe because the downpipe's cast iron. And the previous downpipe I had on this car was a White Widow. And what happened with that was I literally cracked on the downpipe, the flange. I literally cracked the whole flange all the way around. So threw that out, junk, and got the CPE in. And it's been, been doing great ever since. And it also has... A variety of options i don't know if you guys can see it but a variety of options for o2 sensors and where you can locate your o2 sensor on this downpipe so that's it's pretty cool i kind of dig it and with that um i have stuffed back here is a cts5 cork sport turbo yes i said it it is a big turbo in this good old gal um but previous i had a bnrs3 and i just recently switched to this and let me tell you, sheesh, nine day difference, nine day difference. Um, followed by the turbo, I have HTP 3.5 inch uh, air intake. Um, following along with that, we have down here a little shiny guy. Yes, I got it red to match the car. Uh, I'm bougie, I know. Um, the tile, 50 millimeter blow off valve. Um, got a diamond side motor mount um the tranny and rear motor mount are stock right now i will be getting the those two mounts and slapping those in as well um comment down below if you guys want to see those install videos because i will for sure do those for you guys just leave a comment and also like this video running along up top here we have the strut bar um this strut bar came when i bought this car um it looked by looks to me it was custom fabbed onto this but I, I've taken it off and drove the car and then I put it back on and I tell you like sheesh with it off this car is like It is so loose and all over the place. It's like sheesh. It's kind of glad I have that Um, I think that I forgetting anything else I don't think oh I am I am so stuff down here. I don't know if you can see it I have a Mishimoto oil catch can. Um, it's stuck behind all this madness, but it's definitely a need for these cars. Definitely a must. So please get yourself a oh, fucking catch can, please. Save yourself the headache and the boom boom later on. Um, I think that's pretty much it for right now. Like I said, I will be doing videos when I do do installs and upgrades to this car. So I will be posting videos for you guys on all those. Moving on into the car, as you can see, I have my Cobb AP mounted on the cluster. Um, I do have a custom shift knob. There's my switch for the light bar. Got it tucked away nice and dandy in there. This is a custom shift knob from Get a Grip. Um, go check them out. You can fully customize this. I did this one red, obviously, to match the car. Vans Waffle Grip. Honestly, like, my reviews, like, this thing is amazing amazing go get yourself one i could use a short throw short shifter so i might do that too I might purchase one of those yeah so like i said guys there's gonna be a lot of videos coming on this car um upgrades maintenance videos how to's let me know what kind of videos i should do on how to's um me and my buddy i'll drop his out here i'm alonzo dizzy um my buddy marcus real good friend of mine he's actually the guy who got me into this car literally and taught me like literally everything i know I'll be doing a video with him too. He owns a Mazda Speed 6. So we're going to do, you know, Speed 6 versus Speed 3. You know the deal. Our builds are honestly fairly similar. We both have the same taste. So I'll be, be sure to watch out for those videos because those are going to be some fire videos. 
and yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for this one while the hood's open i might as well give you guys a rundown on the setup so on this setup um originally my plan was to make 400 wheel horsepower um with the setup but obviously i can do way more with the parts i have but the, mo the motor is stock it's a stock block um running strong this is my second motor so i have been through the boom boom and all that stuff before so if you guys want a backstory i probably will do a story like a backstory on this car and like where it started and you know where it's going it'll be a, a whole another video for you guys so check out for that one um but yeah that's pretty much it stock block fully bolted considering the fact that i don't have manifold but i consider it fully bolted so yeah guys so that is going to wrap it up for this video you guys thank you so much for tuning in and watching um there's big plans going to go on for this car and i'm currently in the process of setting it up for the track um time attack and doing all that stuff i'm kind of i'm kind of done with the whole drag scene and like whole drag scene with this car because i tend to make the motor go boom boom because i try to push too much power because your boy loves to go fast and hit that boost but yeah thank you all for tuning in make sure to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you all in the next one peace